not only am I about to teach you how to find vendors, but I'm about to teach you how to steal your competitor's vendors. So if that is something you are interested in learning how to do, stay tuned for this entire video. It's all I'm trying to do, hustle and motivate. the brand hustler and this is a channel for all of my hustle babes who are interested in gaining insight on the entrepreneurial journey while learning essential marketing and business tips for their brand if that sounds like you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure that you join the hustle babe community I'm sure you saw the title this is something that many people who want to go into business struggle with right Finding vendors can be so difficult, but today we are about to go through my five tips on how to find vendors for your business. I'm giving you actual names of sites and names of brands, and what most of you guys want to know is how to steal your competitor's vendors. If you want to learn about that tip, make sure that you stay to the end. Don't skip because you probably need all five tips. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Tip one, know the difference between a manufacturer and a distributor. So if you think all vendors are equal, that is not true. A distributor is a company or a person who works with a manufacturer and acts as a third party to sell that product to you. Basically what they do is they go to the person or the company who is actually making this material, let's say shirts. They go to the actual person who sews the shirts together and designs the shirts and they take it from them in bulk and pass that bulk on to you but they add on, let's say, 10% or whatever that is, and then that's how they profit. A manufacturer is the actual person or company that makes the item. They put in the labor, they put in the work, they make the item. And nine times, nine, nine times out of 10, it's cheaper to get it from the manufacturer instead of going through a distributor right now the good thing about distributors is sometimes they develop their own sense of style that actually will fit your business and so if you like how they pick their items and the selection they have you can go through a distributor because then it's like you're going to them and they're probably sourcing from multiple manufacturers instead of you having to find each and every manufacturer that is a plus but if you're trying to save some coin then you definitely want to find the direct source which is the manufacturer Tip two, use an online marketplace. So if you've ever heard of China vendor trips or even LA wholesale trips, they usually go to the fashion district or whatever district within these places and then they shop on this block that has a whole bunch of stores, right? The online marketplaces takes those stores and basically allows them to sell online. So I'm about to give you three online marketplaces that I suggest that you shop on and then I'm going to tell you which one is my favorite. So the first one is going to be Orange Shine. That is orangeshine.com. That one is relatively easy to get into. Um, they only ask for like your name and your business name and I believe they ask you for a reseller's ID. but approval is basically instant. Now if you're looking for things that are more quality items then I suggest either checking out LA Showroom which that is lashowroom.com or fashiongo.net. My personal favorite is fashiongo.net. You will find a lot of your main manufacturers on fashiongo.net and a lot of places like Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, and some of probably your favorite boutiques that you see around shop from stores and manufacturers that are on these online marketplaces. Um, these online marketplaces carry clothing, shoes, lingerie, accessories, and all of that jazz. So I definitely suggest that you go ahead and check out those online marketplaces. If you're interested in learning more about your reseller's permit because these three sites are going to ask you for your, your reseller's permit and some of them ask you for your business license, I suggest checking out 
my other video that walks through the four steps of starting a business because one of the steps has to do with getting all your legal work together. So there's gonna be a little eye that pops up right here. Go ahead and click that and it will take you to that video and you can watch that video to know what I'm talking about when I say reseller's permit. Tip number three, check your clothing. If you're buying from these online boutiques or these major stores like Fashion Nova, Rainbow, all of that, they sometimes will leave the tags from the manufacturer in the clothes. And I know that's probably bad for their branding because they should be trying to switch everything out, but sometimes they either process so many orders that they let some of the clothes slip by or they just don't care about them. I don't really know which one, but if you check your clothes, I promise you will at least find one item with the tag with the manufacturer's name in it. And just to prove that to you, I'm gonna go to my closet, which is right behind me, and I'm gonna pull two items out of there. All right, I'm back. So I got two items, and I'm gonna drop the picture of when I wore them right here, and right here. And so basically, this one I wore on my birthday, and I got this from Fashion Nova. And if I look at the tag, you will see it doesn't say Fashion Nova. This one I wore on my last birthday, and I got this from Giddy Online. And I'm going to show you the tag again. See that? It doesn't say Giddy Online. Point proven. Check the tags of your clothing that you love. If you usually shop from a certain store and you tend to lean toward a certain style, you're probably already doing some of the work to finding your own vendor. Because this vendor for sure, Good Time USA, I have a bunch of clothes that comes from this vendor that I didn't even realize until I looked at the tag because I was buying it from different stores, but I was attracted to the same type of fabric, type of look, and it turned out to be from the same exact manufacturer, or in other words, vendor. Tip number four, take a trip. I mentioned earlier that there is a wholesale district in LA, there's also a bunch of different manufacturers and wholesale companies in China, but there's also many wholesale districts in many different states across the United States. So, like in Atlanta, there's something called a Mary's Mart or America's Mart or something like that. In Miami, you have 7th Ave and 10th Street and all these things that have these wholesale places or these people that actually make clothes and make products that will sell them to you in bulk for a discounted price. And if you need to go to China, there are many people that take people on trips to China. So just check your surroundings, do a Google search, um, explore, you know, your different cities, guides, and things like that, and see what it is that they have to offer, and plan a trip. And last but not least, tip number five is to steal your competitors' vendors. I'm pretty sure what I'm about to tell you, you haven't heard from anyone before. So, here's the tea. Many of the companies that you love source their product from China. Believe it or not, it's sourced from China. Even when you go to the LA Fashion District, some of the people who are there are just representatives of the main factory back in China. Nine times out of 10, you are getting a product from China and now you have other places that are developing their wholesale uh, district in other countries as well. That means that a company has to order in bulk from these other countries and have it shipped to America. Whenever you ship something from an outside country to America, it has to go through customs. Ding, ding, ding. What does that mean? It means that every package that comes inside the United States is tracked. That is how you can spy on your competitors. You can go on the US Customs website and kind of search around yourself, but I don't suggest doing that because there's a bunch of codes and keywords that you don't understand. But I do suggest checking out a website called Jungle Scout. 
Jungle Scout makes it easy. They put it into a database for you and then all you have to do is search the company's legal name or their legal um, ID number of some sort and it will bring up the most recent things that they've had imported. And on that report, it'll show you where it came from, the exact name of the manufacturer, and some of the reports even include the information for the manufacturer. And that is pretty cool. So I'm gonna put the website not only on the screen right now, but I'm also gonna put all of this in the description box. There is also a video that explains how to use Jungle Scout to spy on your competitors, and I am going to um, add that either down below or on the screen with the little eye. Um, so if you don't see the little eye right here, just make sure that you read the description box. And there is a video of a guy that walks you through the entire process on how to use Jungle Scout to spy on your competitors and steal their vendors. So there you have it. That wraps up the five tips that I have on how to find a vendor. I tried to give you some tips that are out of the box, some things that you haven't heard before. And so I hope that these tips will help you on your journey to start your business and to grow your business and scale and to really find products that you love and that you can ultimately continue to sell um, pretty much forever. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. If you know somebody that would benefit from watching this video, or even if you just want to spread the word about all of this tea I just dropped on vendors, make sure that you share this video to Facebook, Twitter, wherever. Share it on Instagram or wherever you need to to get the word out because there are people who charge a lot of money for this information. The online marketplace will give you access to literally hundreds to thousands of vendors per site. So honestly, with just fashiongo.net alone, you are good to find what you need to supply for your business for a very, very long time. So the fact that I just gave you three marketplaces is way more than enough for you and you can save your coin on buying those vendor lists because you don't need them. I just gave you the key. And if you would like to join the Hustle Babe community, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below because I am dropping heat like at least once a week, right? So make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and stay tuned for my future videos. If you have a video that you want me to do, a topic that you want me to speak on, a question, go ahead and drop that in the comment section below. And also let me know why you feel like you've been struggling to find vendors for your business. I want to know that in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram at The Brand Hustler and you can follow my personal Instagram at I am Chanel Q. If you want to check out my website to see what services I offer within my branding community, it is www thebrandhustler.com. Once again, all of my information and the information that I said in this video will be in the description box. And so make sure you open that and read all of it, okay? But until next time, I am out of here. So peace, bye.